This is One on One. We're pleased to uh, welcome the president of Stevens Institute of Technology in Hoboken, New Jersey, Nariman Favardin. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. I saw you on uh, with our colleague uh, on NGTV News, uh, our anchor, talking about uh, the brain drain in New Jersey, um, even though we're here in New York. What do you mean there's a brain drain? Who are we losing? <laughs> um, the notion of brain drain is uh, something that is well understood when... Uh, when um, students leave their home state for uh, college education to other states, uh, oftentimes they don't come back with a very significant percentage of them don't come back. And this has very significant economic implications. So this is generally referred to as brain drain. In the state of New Jersey, we lose uh, a net of approximately 28,000 mm. college bound students every year to other states and the economic impact of it, and uh, the future and the economic development of the state of New Jersey is very profound. Are they some of the best students? I, uh, Are they better, some of the better students? I don't have uh, specific data on the academic qualifications of these students, but the sheer number is so staggering uh, that uh, oh, I, it makes me convinced that there are significant numbers of mm -hmm. very, very, very talented students. You know. Sorry for interrupting. The economic and the practical long-term implications of this are? Uh, very good question. Uh, I've actually done a little bit of an analysis uh, uh, to answer this question. When, uh, when you look at 28,000 students who leave the state, uh, this is a net number. The actual number of students who migrate out of the state of New Jersey per year is about 31,000. But we import, so we export 31,000 and we import about 4,000. So the net is about 27, 28,000 per year. You should ask yourself, what is the cost of raising a child in addition to giving them a lot of attention and a lot of love? What is the cost of raising a child? And there are well understood uh, numbers on this. It's about 250, $260,000 per person for the 18 year period until they're ready to go to college. Take that number. Multiply it by the total number of students who leave the state and add to it the average cost of four years of college education. That's $10 billion. With a B? $10 billion with a B per year. <sighs> per year. Now. What are we going to do? What is, should we do? Let me just expand on this. This is just the small oh, portion of the Now you're going to tell me it gets worse. <laughs> it's much worse. It's much worse. This is just the tip of the iceberg. The problem is that when these people get their college education and don't come back, you're not going to have those uh, highly educated people who will come back to the state of New Jersey and pay taxes. They will not buy properties. You will be deprived of access to their intellectual firepower. Mm. You will be deprived of access to those companies that they will form, to those jobs that they will create. So I think the economic impact is far bigger than the $10 billion a year. The 10 billion is just the back of the envelope calculation that anybody can do. Real quick, what do we do? Uh, you know, this is a big problem, and I don't think there is a silver bullet that will solve this problem. Uh, but I'll, I'll give you a couple of ideas sure. about what I think w one should do. First of all, I think that the um, citizens of the state of New Jersey, the uh, elected officials of the state of New Jersey, need to understand this issue and talk about it and... Uh, try to find a solution in a very proactive way. This is not on the radar screen of a lot of uh, people who uh, influence. It hasn't been a priority. Policy. It has not I been I interview a members of the legislature all the time. I've never heard one bring it up. Many of them, in fact, uh, don't know about the extent of the problem. And uh, I don't think any of them is seeking a solution. Now, you asked me about solutions. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a couple of ideas. F first of all, it's important to mention that while we have about a 27, 28,000 net loss of students per year. You should ask, so how many students actually do we bring in to New Jersey colleges and universities per year? And the number is almost the same. So almost for every one student that you keep in the state mm. of New Jersey, you lose one. That's, that's a staggering, staggering number. By the way, I forgot to mention, New Jersey has the largest such problem in all of the United States. Of the America. worst. We are number one in the entire. One concrete thing we can do. I would say 
if I were a decision maker, I would find a concrete program to identify the cream of the crop among the 27,000 that, that we lose every year. I want to keep the cream of the crop, in particular in those areas that are critical to economic development of the state. And I find an incentive program to persuade them to stay in the state of New Jersey so that future generations could benefit. Science, technology, engineering, and math matter most? Uh, in my opinion, these are among the most important areas in terms of workforce development, in terms of economic development. Um, as you know, there's a plethora of, uh, uh, of evidence that uh, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, uh, professionals are responsible for a tremendous amount of economic development. In fact, uh, you may know that only 5% of our workforce uh, is comprised of people in science, technology, engineering, mathematics, but they're responsible for about 80 to 85% of GDP growth. Mm. So the, uh, the proportions are uh, very, very uh, unusual. This is a very significant uh, driver. And you and your colleagues at Stevens are working on this every day. And we work on this every day. We have tremendous uh, successes. We are very proud of what is happening. Uh, the demand for Stevens education is on the rise exactly for reasons that are understandable. Students and their, fa and their uh, parents recognize that by pursuing an education in these fields and by becoming technology literate, they're likely to have a successful career and uh, a prosperous future. You know, it's interesting. Um, a few seconds left. This is an area we need to do more work in. And um, our sister program, um, Capital Report in New Jersey, with my colleague Rafael Piorman, this is something that we'll be looking at from a public policy perspective and talking to some of those legislators and asking them why we're not talking about number one and number two, what we should be doing about it from a public policy perspective and also talking to leaders of industry as well. So I want to thank you, Mr. President, for joining us and talking, even coming over to the New York side, which is not far from Hoboken where you're at, but more importantly, raising this very important issue and having us all be thinking about it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Steve. It was a Appreciate pleasure it. joining you. Thank you. It was thank great. You. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. This special edition of One on One with Steve Adubato is brought to you from the Tisch WNET studios at Lincoln Center. Funding has been provided by Hackensack University Health Network, United Water, Wells Fargo, MagnaCare, New Jersey Sharing Network, Kessler Foundation, and by Josh S. Weston. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.